I love white buttes and I'm sure you do too. So Gigabyte has given you this all white butte. Come take a look. So from the start, we have an all white case. Power supply is white, graphic card white, white fence and a white AIO. Everything is single on in color. The entirety of the motherboard may be white, but of course there's some things like the capacitors cannot be white. PCI slots are still black, but if you really want a truly white motherboard, there's always something such as the extreme prestige motherboard over there. I've never seen a wall white motherboard like this. Most motherboards do not have back connectors like this. I know that other brands do so, but what's special about this board is they don't restrict you to the case that they plan to use. So why should you care about this? You can now save money because you can use any case from any brand that you plan to use. And I've always found it a chore to attach my Wi-Fi antenna to the motherboard. But Gigabyte has since created detachable cables for you to attach your antennas very easily to the motherboard. If having one screen in your PC build is not enough, you can have five. So starting with the motherboard, we have LCD Edge View. There's also screens on the pump head, the graphic card, and the power supply. This is just a new thing from Gigabyte, an LCD screen. We are not sure what Gigabyte wants to do this panel, but perhaps you can mount it on your PC case or slide it inside your PC build. We'd like to know your comments, so comment down in the comment below. This is the world's first DisplayPort 2.1 standard. Why is this important? Let me tell you why. Because with this standard, with 80 gigabits per second, you can daisy chain three 4K monitors, have really smooth, high refresh rate, uncompressed video image, just of one cable. You here, come here. Don't sell AI data to the cloud. Why should you care? Because Gigabyte has a better option for you. You should use Gigabyte's full software and hardware solution completely offline. Gigabyte allows you to combine all of the RAM that you have inside your VRAM, your GPU, and the SSD, which allows you to train a bigger data set up to 180 billion that's otherwise very costly from a cloud. So you may be wondering, how do you track all your data? Gigabyte has provided you with a highly customizable AI top software utility. You can view things such as training loss, your VRAM loading state, VRAM loading state, as well as the CPU loading states. You have a lot of options on how you want to train your AI data. You can choose what you want to get the best AI data set. As you can see, there are a lot of features which you can change for your data set, such as the batch size, epochs, and the LRM backbone. For all of you RAID fans, don't worry, we have you covered. These are also AMD Radeon GPUs. And I also heard a rumor that Team Blue Intel may want to do this in the coming future. We are really excited to see what will happen in the future and if you have any ideas on how you want us to take this forward or what we can use these applications for, write down in the comments below.
in, in the, in the, inside the notches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>